The all new Linux Mint 22.1 is here and it's absolutely packed with new things. We are getting our first look at Cinnamon 6.4 which brings a completely revamped design language to Linux Mint. But this release is not just about the looks. Linux Mint developers are giving us many new features to kick off the new year. We are finally getting power modes. These let us apply some powerful performance optimizations. Then we are introduced to the Nightlight feature which was a top fan request. We'll also explore some major under the hood upgrades that make this release better than ever before. Linux Mint has completely rewired its package management. You don't want to miss that. Linux Mint 22.1 is refining and redefining what a modern desktop Linux experience should be. This is a huge update from one of the biggest names in the Linux world. So without further ado, let's jump right in. Cinnamon Desktop is probably the most loved thing about Linux Mint and it is bumped up to version 6.4 with this release. And this version is bringing some really cool things. First of all, there's a completely revamped look and feel thanks to the new default theme. This new theme brings a modern touch to the Cinnamon Desktop. I really love what they've done here. Take a look at this. Now, we get slightly rounded elements instead of sharp square ones, like everywhere. Let me show you a side by side comparison. You can see the menu selector and in the calendar, buttons, all the elements have a slight border radius. This smoothing up of borders gives the whole desktop a modern polished vibe. Linux Mint developers have also played around with the color palette and they have updated the theme to have more contrast. The theming now leans into darker shades. I feel this is a good thing as I've always felt that Mint can look bland at times. Compared to other modern distros, the colors on Mint don't pop at all. I know this was by design, but still. But with this update, Mint leans into those darker darks and it looks very good here. It's modern and it makes the desktop look more punchy. It's also more practical as it makes the text, icons and other elements stand out. I really appreciate these improvements that Linux Mint developers bring out with every new cinnamon. These changes are not so huge as to catch your attention or distract you. But at the same time, we are not left using an outdated UI. I am getting adjusted to using Mint this way, but I absolutely love the new cinnamon look. Linux Mint 22.1 is bringing an exciting feature back that I personally adore, Nightlight. Linux Mint veterans might remember this cool feature that we had called Redshift. Basically, what it did was, it reduced blue light emission from your screen and made the screen warmer or orangey. Now this objectively makes your screen more pleasant to look at. It feels less harsh on your eyes. And it also massively helps in improving your sleep quality. And it could also be tied to sunset times so that your screen turns warm once the sun sets. But unfortunately, the Redshift app had to be dropped from Linux Mint because Mozilla location service that it used was discontinued and it broke Redshift. While you could employ workouts, they were not that convenient. So Linux Mint developers have created their own solution. Nightlight directly integrates into the Cinnamon desktop environment and also gives you complete control over how you want to use it. You can set the desired temperature, you can also schedule it based on your preferred timings or based on the sunset timing in your location. And this works when using X11 as well as the Valent display server. Just search for Nightlight in the menu or the settings and turn it on. Play around with the temperature settings to get the tone that you resonate with. By the way, if you haven't already, check out my course Linux Mastery Express. I've designed this course to level up your Linux skills very quickly. With this course, you'll get so comfortable using the terminal commands that your friends will think you're a Linux wizard. You'll get perfect with the most used, most useful commands and also learn advanced things like using the vEditor and shell scripting as well. Linux Mastery Express, link in the description, do check it out. Linux Mint 22.1 introduces full native dialogues and from a technical point of view, this is a big deal. Let me give you some background info here. Previously, Linux Mint used PolicyKit GNOME to display dialog boxes for system shutdown confirmation, application terminations, network connections and other confirmation dialogues. While these worked, they did have compatibility issues under Valent. And since Valent seems to be the future, it made sense for Linux Mint developers to get a handle on this once and for all. So they have chosen to completely rewrite these dialog boxes using Clutter, the same tech that powers the beautiful panels in this desktop. 
These new dialogues fit in perfectly with the new snazzy, rounded corner aesthetics introduced in Cinnamon 6.4. Let me show you a comparison. The new ones are definitely an upgrade as far as looks are concerned. This transition also addresses the compatibility issues that were previously encountered on Valent Display Server and dialogues with elevated privileges. These new dialogues are gonna make the whole thing feel more unified and put together. With the 22.1 update, the developers have made a game-changing update under the hood. For years, Linux Mint relied on tools like AppDaemon, GDB, and AppTurl. Now these are solid tools that serve their purpose well, but were showing serious signs of aging. These tools were built over a decade ago and unfortunately haven't kept up with modern development practices. They had created bottlenecks and frankly headaches for both users and developers. In a bold move to modernize package management, AppKit and Captain are brought in to replace their older counterparts. While this change may not be apparent to the users, it is a huge change nonetheless, as it reduces clutter, streamlines package management operations, and makes the whole thing more intuitive. As I said, the older tools I mentioned were developed a decade ago and were not being maintained upstream. This reliance on outdated yet significantly core components of the operating system can be a really bad thing. It's a huge headache for developers. They have to deal with unnecessary bugs and paper cuts when the same time could be used for more productive tasks. So Linux Mint developers have laid that foundation, ensuring a smoother future for package management. Now, let's dive into one of the most exciting features that Linux Mint 22.1 brings, the new Power Modes. I always felt that Linux Mint is one of the best operating systems in the performance delivery and power management department. I've always gotten a great battery life out of it, and when I needed high performance, Linux Mint seamlessly delivered it. But with the new power modes, Mint is giving us that flexibility to optimize the system's performance and energy use according to our needs. Jump to the power management section in the system settings and we get three power modes, power saver, balanced and performance. If you need to conserve battery life and squeeze in more minutes when you're working on your laptop, just switch to the power saving mode. If you're doing something more demanding like video editing or gaming, the performance mode will give you that extra boost. For everyday tasks, just stick your computer in the balanced mode and it's all going to work perfectly. You can also change these modes directly from the power applet on laptops. So yeah, these new power modes are going to let you fine tune your system's performance and battery life to suit the kind of work you're doing at any given time. It's all about that flexibility. This lets your computer adapt to your needs, whether you're working, gaming or just browsing around. We already had this feature in Linux distros running the GNOME desktop environment. It's phenomenal to see this neat little feature debut in my favorite Linux distro. Every new version of Linux Mint comes with a refreshing set of new and colorful wallpapers. These wallpapers were earlier organized under folders code name for each release. This release too brings new artwork, but instead of a release based folder structure in the wallpapers app, they have chosen to go with the theme-based folder, starting with a broader wallpapers folder in this release. You see some familiar as well as some new entries here this time. In the future editions of Linux Mint, they will add more folders based on themes. We'll most probably see entries like nature, sky, water, city, etc. This change may seem trivial initially, but it's definitely going to make customization more convenient on Mint. I like this change, but we'll have to wait till more folders are populated here. In addition to all these updates, there have been many big and small touch-ups to many core components of Linux Mint. The software manager has been optimized. It is now more responsive when browsing and installing applications. The file manager has been polished around some rough edges. Linux Mint 22.1 is based on Ubuntu 24.04 LTS and is powered by the Linux kernel 6.8. This will receive support till 2029. Alright, there you have it guys our first look at the upcoming Linux Mint 22.1 and everything new it's bringing. We will do a detailed deep dive once it's released. But for now, if you enjoyed this video, if you found it helpful, definitely consider subscribing to the channel. Also leave me a big thumbs up and talk to me in the comments below. And if you're interested in leveling up your Linux skills, the link to my course Linux Mastery Express is given in the description below. It's designed to reach you Linux and take you from zero to hero within the shortest amount of time possible. You'll be using Linux like a pro within a matter of hours. 
So definitely check that out. Also, don't forget to check out the top 10 insanely cool Linux terminal apps that you should be using. I've got some really cool ones there. Definitely don't miss that. Alright, this is Linux Techs signing out.